Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a series called Beyond Health Coaching. And today I'm going to be talking about protein. So protein is made up of many amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of our body. So it's really important um, to have protein every day to repair your body, to build muscle, and connective tissue and your organs, your cells, everything you can think of is made up of the building blocks of amino acids, which is protein. So when we're talking about nutrition, it's really important that we take into consideration what we're fueling our body with, as well as what we might be burdening it with. And so we have three essential, we have three macronutrients two of which are essential. So there's the essential protein, essential fat, and then there's carbohydrates. So as you can see, carbohydrates are the only ones that are not deemed essential. Both protein and fat are essential to survive. So carbohydrates are an often debated topic. I'm not gonna to get too much into carbohydrates in this video, but I will in a future one. Um, so people debate whether carbohydrates are needed or if they're needed at all. They're not deemed essential and people like the Inuit have survived without them for many years. I myself have been part of the low carb community for many years. Low carb has worked well for me and it works well for many people. But then I realize there are others that do really well with a higher carbohydrate diet too. So carbohydrate intake really depends on a person's ability to process glucose in the body without developing chronic illness, obesity, and inflammation. All right, so we're going to be wanting to track macronutrients. If you've never done it before, you want to get into the habit of tracking just for a little while so you can learn how... Um, how much you're consuming, how much protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So you want to download some sort of app. I myself use MyFitnessPal, but there's lots of others like Carb Manager. Okay, so protein, the focus for today. So how much does a person need for optimal health? So my recommendation is to consume a minimum of one gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight per day. That is quite a bit more than what the RDA is. The RDA is the bare minimum to survive. Okay, so if you're looking at, say, a 130-pound woman and maybe their ideal body weight is 120 pounds, then they would be aiming for 120 grams of protein per day. If we're looking at a 250-pound man whose ideal body weight is maybe 180 gram or 180 pounds, then they would be looking at eating 180 grams per day. Okay, and if you don't know what your ideal body weight is, you can do a Google search for a height and weight chart and look up um, what your ideal body weight should be. And, and that can give yourself some leeway. It really depends on like um, your bone structure as well. Okay, so protein spacing. So we want to space out our protein throughout the day. Um, we ideally don't want to eat all of that protein in one meal. I know for myself it might be difficult, like challenging, to get in 120 grams in one meal. So I want to break that up into two or three meals throughout the day. But recognizing that you also need to eat a bolus of protein, so at least 20 grams of pure protein to trigger protein synthesis, which means your body's building muscle, bone, ligaments, tendons, etc. So I would recommend uh, maybe 45 grams for your first meal of the day. This is based on protein research done by Dr. Donald Lehman. He also recommends a good bolus of protein at the end of the day. So if you had a target of 120 grams of protein per day, as I do, then the following might be an ideal target. So 45 grams of protein at breakfast, 30 grams of protein at lunch, and then dinner, another 45 grams of protein. Okay, and you might be wondering what that looks like. And that is why I recommend downloading something like MyFitnessPal. 
All right, so here are some protein ideas. So you can see here that four eggs would give you 24 grams of protein. Um, eggs are a great, um, a great source of macronutrients, but keep in mind that egg yolks is mostly fat, so you're not getting pure protein. So sometimes what I'll do is add egg whites to an egg, um, just so that I don't have to eat the quantity of food um, that I need to get that protein in. So 100 grams of Greek yogurt only gives you 10 grams of protein. So you can see you have to eat quite a bit of yogurt to get your 20 grams in. A full can of tuna gives you 41 grams of protein. So a can of tuna could be a good option. I try to not to consume too much tuna just because of contaminants. Um, but once a week would be a good option. I think that's an easy lunch to take to work. Uh, one scoop of whey protein powder gives you 25 grams of protein. So if you want to do um, a protein shake, that's a good option for getting in that extra protein if you're struggling to get it in. As you can see here, a cup of egg whites gives you 26 grams of protein. 40 ounces of turkey kielbasa gives you 15 grams of protein. 100 grams of haddock is 20 grams of protein. Uh, one can of sardines gives you 17 grams of protein. Now these are all approximations, okay? So I've just done Google searches just to give you an approximate idea of how much you need to be eating. Um, chicken breast is a great source of protein. 100 grams gives you 31 grams of protein. Uh, strip loin steak would give you 21 grams and pork tenderloin would give you 20 grams of protein. So then we've got some vegetarian options. So one scoop of pea protein will give you 24 grams of protein. A cup of lentils gives you 18 grams. 100 grams of baked beans would only give you six grams of protein. So you can see with the plant proteins, you just need to be eating a larger quantity. 100 grams of tofu gives you just five grams of protein. So um, a good hack if you're a vegetarian or vegan would be to buy some branch chain amino acids or especially leucine. Leucine specifically is the amino acid that triggers protein synthesis. So you could take, you could eat your, um, your vegan protein. So say you were having tofu and you weren't quite reaching that 20 grams of protein, then you could take um, some BCAs along with that, just mix it into a drink. All right, so that's it for protein for today. I will be doing more videos like this um, to talk about other macronutrients and other topics. So please like and follow for more. And if you're interested in my workbook that encompasses all of this, please visit my website at www.charleneforest.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.